In this video, we're going to take a look at Spike Prime, the larger of the two Spike hubs. This is Spike Prime, and you'll notice that it's very similar in design to Spike Essential. Again, you have the hub and the battery, and as with Spike Essential, you have a USB charging port and some input output ports along each side. The difference is then, with Spike Prime, you have six input and output ports as opposed to two. You also have three buttons on the front face of the spike rather than just the one. You can use the center button as a power button to turn spike on and off. And you can also use it to run your chosen program. Now Spike Prime has onboard storage for up to 20 different programs to be stored at once. To navigate through, you can use the left and right buttons, and then you can press the center button to run your chosen program. In addition, Spike Prime has an onboard speaker, as well as the six axis gyro and accelerometer that it shares with Spike Essential. To connect your peripherals to Spike Prime, it's simply a case of plugging them into the relevant port. And when you do so, the Spike Prime app will automatically recognize that that has been connected. How do we connect our Spike to our Spike Prime app? Well, we'll look at a pairing in another video, but the button that you'll need to use can be found on the top here, and that is your Bluetooth pairing button. Spike Prime comes with a range of peripherals. We have pressure sensors, ultrasonic distance measuring sensors, as well as a range of large, and medium motors and color sensors. 